Hi, everyone. Um, today, we're going to talk about the method of integrating factor. Um, as I emphasized before, the classification is very important, okay? And this method is working for first order linear differential equation, okay? Whenever you find, uh, whenever you have uh, first order linear differential equation, then you can, you can try to apply this one, okay? So let me talk about the method of integrating factor briefly, okay? So as I told you, you should have first order linear differential equation. Look at that. Is dy over dt equal to pty is equal to t, which means the coefficient function of y is a function of t, and your right-hand side g is also a function of t only. There is no other y term, okay? Then, like the first step is you have to find um, integrating factor. Basically, the concept of this one is came from the product rule of the differentiation, right? So we're gonna to try to make the dip, uh, like product form on your left-hand side. Then you can uh, like find the solution for diff this, this different equation, okay? So for that purpose, we have to find the inter integrating factor mu, okay? We use mu notation, okay? So we're gonna multiply the, like, the function of t, mu, which is function of t on both sides, okay? So how can we find mu? Well, in my lecture, I explained uh, how we can derive this mu equation, okay? So like, you know, in this uh, slide, I gave you already about mu. And as you can see here, mu is e to the integral pt dt, okay? So step two, we're gonna multiply this mu on both sides. Okay, let me do step by step, okay? There we go. That is conclusion, but before then, we had the standard form of the first order linear differential equation here and we multiplied mu on both sides, which means mu t dy dt plus pt times mu t, I just write the mu t inside of the pt and y equal to uh, mu t and gt. My except expectation is, is your left-hand side is uh, like product form, which means uh, I'm talking about um, u times v prime is equal to u prime v plus u v prime. That's exactly that form, okay? Then we can write your left-hand side as uh, d dt of mu t y. Okay, that is the step two, okay? Then the step three is we're gonna take the integral on both sides, then your left-hand side will be just mu t times y and your right-hand side will be integral of your mu t, g t, d t, and like there's constant, okay? And then the final step you're gonna divide by mu t on both sides, then you will have uh, like a y t, which is solution curve, okay? But keep that in mind. If you just want to memorize this formula, which is in step four, that is totally fine, okay? So it is definitely came from the theory of the, the method of integrating factor, so you can use this, okay? But if you would like to learn the like process of the, uh, like method of integrating factor, then definitely you can do step one to three, okay? So that's it, okay? So let me give you an example, then it might be much easier to understand, okay? Here we go. So look at the first problem, okay? It is beautiful form, which is standard uh, first order linear equation form, okay? You have y prime and y on your left-hand side, which must be the product form, right? And the other part, which is function of t, is on your right-hand side, okay? So we're gonna start from finding the integrating factor, okay? Which is mu t, is equal to e to the integral pt dt. Okay, let me write pt and dt on your side. Your pt is two over t and gt is cosine t over t square. Okay, then plug in your pt in there and that is equal to e to the integral two over t dt, which is equal to e to the two times ln t, right? For this case, you don't have to worry about constant C for this integral because that will be the coefficient of expression function and you will multiply everywhere, which means that coefficient will be canceled out. That's why we don't have to worry about constant C for that integral, okay? And then like, you know, do you remember the property of uh, log, natural log? So not only natural, just log function, okay? It can be written by like this way. And also by the cancellation, it is equal to t squared. So I found uh, my integrating factor for this differential equation is t squared. Then we're gonna multiply t squared on both sides, okay? Then your differential equation will be t squared times y prime plus t squared 
times 2 over t, then t will be cancel out and you have 2t, right? And y is equal to, and t squared times cosine t over t squared, then t squared will be canceled out, then your right-hand side is just cosine t, right? Look at your left-hand side, right? Can you see t squared and t, 2t, which is uh, u and du, right? And y and y prime, that's exactly product form. Then we can write your left-hand side as d dt of t squares, t squared times y. Okay, and next step is step three. We're gonna take the integral on both sides. Then left-hand side is just simply t squared times y. And right-hand side is integral cosine t dt, right? It, the anti-derivative of cosine is not minus sine, okay? It is positive sine because sine prime is cosine, right? Sine t and you need constant c, right? Almost there. Because we would like to find the like you know, solution curve as explicit form, we're gonna divide by t squared on both sides. Then finally, y t is equal to uh, sine t over t squared plus c over t squared. That's it. Since this is not the initial value problem, you have to find the general form, okay? Is that clear so far? So let me give you another example, okay? Oh, give me a second. So like, is that like initial build problem by the way? Oh, there we go. We have initial build, right? And this is general form, but we have to complete with a given initial build, okay? It was given by y pi is equal to zero. Here we go. Since y of pi is equal to zero, we're gonna plug in y equals zero and t equal to pi. Then zero is sine of pi over pi squared plus c over pi squared, okay? And as you know, sine pi is equal to zero, right? And the first term of on your right-hand side is equal to zero. Then we can easily find your c must be equal to zero as well. Then your solution curve is here. y t is equal to sine t over t squared. That's it. Is that clear? And let me give you another example, okay? Here we go. Oh, this is not the initial value problem, okay? Then in this case, we can find the general solution only, okay? But wait a minute. First of all, you have to check the name of this differential equation, okay? Look at that. Oh, we have y prime, which is first order. And the coefficient of y prime is t, which is function of t, and that's fine, it's linear. And second term minus y, it is linear. And right-hand side, there's no y term, which is the function of t only. Then we can say this is first order linear differential equation, okay? then we can use the method of integrating factor, right? But before then, like when I introduce about the, uh, this method and your differential equation must be the general form, which means there's no coefficient in front of y prime, okay? So let's start from dividing by t on both sides, okay? Then let me make this one as y prime minus one over t y is equal to t times e to the minus t, is that clear? Then we can say your pt is minus one over t and gt is t e to the minus t. Is that clear? Then let's try to find integrating factor, okay? Mu t is e to the integral, p t dt. Okay, don't forget this, okay? This is important, okay? And that is equal to e to the integral minus one over t dt. That is equal to e to the minus ln t, right? And then like you know, by the property of logarithmic function, it can be written by e to the ln t to the minus one. And by cancellation, it is t to the minus one. And we can write it as one over t, okay? Next step is we're gonna put multiply this integrating factor like on both sides of the differential equation, okay? Here we go. Then it will be one over t y prime minus one over t square y is equal to one, one over t and t canceled out, and you have e to the minus t on your right-hand side only, okay? Then look at your left-hand side, okay? Do you remember one over t prime is minus one over t squared, t square, right? Look at that. Second term has minus one over t squared, okay? That is perfect uh, product form, okay? Then we can rewrite this one as d over dt of one over t times y, product form, right? The right hand side is the minus t. Once we are here, and we're gonna take the integral on both sides, okay? The left hand side is just simply uh, 
1 over t times y. The right hand side is integrated to the minus t dt. You know about the entire derivative of your right hand side, right? It is minus e to the minus t, okay? So 1 over t times y is equal to minus e to the minus t, and you need constant c. And we're going to multiply t on both sides, then your y t is equal to minus t times e to the minus t plus c times t for any constant c, okay? And this is the method of integrating factor. But keep that in mind. Your differential equation must be first order linear differential equation, okay? Thank you.